thank you and uh, let me say good afternoon or good evening in your country, good morning in US, Excellencies, Presidents, Speakers of Parliaments, Excellency Prime Minister from Ben, Excellency State Secretary Pompeo, Ministers, Special Envoy, Honorable Representatives of uh, religion communities in Albania joining us today, distinguished guests. I wish you all welcome and also my sincere thanks for your participation at this great historical event. Many thanks to our co-organizers, the Combat Antisemitism for, for supporting my initiative for the organization of this first Balkan Forum Against Antisemitism in Tirana. Also, let me welcome all of you that are attending virtually. I was told that there are so many, there are dozens uh, following it uh, also from uh, uh, youngsters, from uh, schools, from universities. Uh, over the centuries, Albania has endured numerous conquests and occupations. We have withered this turbulent past and built a thriving democracy and economic stability. Throughout it all, Albania has maintained a distinct national culture. We have an ancient, unique language. Most importantly, Albania has also maintained an enduring set of national values. The story of Albania's Jewish community perfectly illustrates the values upon which our country has been built. There has been a Jewish presence in Albania since the second century, but by the 1930s, its size had dwindled to just 200 people from Jewish community. Soon after the Nazis occupied our country in 1943, they swiftly targeted Albania's Jewish. As one of Albanians who stood uh, as uh, by their compatriots, Albanian authorities refused to hand over a list of Jews while ordinary Albanians, Muslim and Christian alike, risked their own lives by hiding their Jewish neighbors. Not only did Albanian Jews survive, but their numbers increased by the end of the World War II as many Jewish people found refugee from neighboring and European countries. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, the Albanian people made a historic choice by joining the most progressive alliance of the time during the Second World War. The morality of the world's politics has been built on the values of anti-fascism for more than seven decades. World order and peace remain today and will continue to stand on the foundations of anti-fascism. The salvation of the Jewish in Albania is one of the most excellent expressions of the anti-fascism of our people. The Albanians' common behavior towards the Jews has confirmed an excellent equality of their worldviews and a popular virtue that is part of the image of an advanced country. The humanism expressed towards every community in danger, the interreligious tolerance and other values of the Albanian people are worth mentioning, especially to fight the views of those who provoke a spirit of conflict and intolerance. This remarkable and largely untold chapter of the Albanian history is no coincidental incident. The sense of honor, trust and respect between Albanians, regardless of religion or faith, is ingrained in Albania's ethical and moral fabric. It's part of an age-old code known as Besa in Albanian, a code of honor. A life infused of Besa is a life of enduring trust between neighbors, a commitment to do everything possible to help one another. Therefore, saving our country's brother Jewish from the horrors of Nazism was not simply an exceptional act of heroism during the humanity's darkest times. It was a matter of a national honor of standing up for what it means to be Albanian. Today's world has become interconnected. We are living through difficult challenges. Europe, Europe today is a community without borders, a multi-ethnic, multicultural, and multilingual community. Albania is ready to sit on the same table with you and negotiate its membership in the next weeks. Up to the day, we'll be a member, and there will be, and there will stand proudly, shining our basic values: humanism, protection of those at risk, and the religious tolerance. 
religious and ethnic, ethnic tolerance among Albanians has been historically inseparable. Europe today needs a current call for the spirit of coexistence and religion tolerance. As I will have to conclude, I'm very proud that the Albanian Parliament, and together here with the Speaker, has taken an important step just uh, last Thursday uh, to adopt the ERA definition unanimously, which could serve as a model to be emulated by fellow legislators in the region. And I, uh, and I call to all the parliaments in the region that have not already done this step to do it because it's good, it's good for the people, it's, go it's good for uh, all to be together on the same fight against anti-Semitism.